Hey, first I want to just congratulate Stanford on a hell, hell of a weekend. Um, just a complete team and the um, young lady, you got to tip your cap to her. She was great for 14 innings against us. And, you know, when you look back and um, I think it was 16 straight Super Regionals that we've been in and, um, you know, we've gone through Washington, we've gone through Stanford, we've gone through Arizona State, we've gone through Cal, um, you name it. Pack 12, and they're the first one to come in and do it. So um, they earned it, and um, you know, shoot, I hope they do well the next round, and I, I know they will. But I um, also want to just say thanks to everybody at Alabama and you guys for being here all weekend. You guys have been great, and um, you know, we had a bunch of new people on our staff at the beginning of the year, including uh, David Nieder, who's game day management, and he just did a great job all year long, including running the regional. So. Uh, kudos uh, to them, and and I think the probably the last thing is um, at the beginning of the year when we have our first team meeting. You know, one of the first things I say is the sooner you realize it's not all about you, the better off in life you're going to be. And then the second thing is, you know, there's 297 Division One softball teams. Only one gets to raise the trophy at the end of the year. What do the other 296 teams carry their hat on? If it's just about winning and losing, that emotion's going to last for four hours. Seriously. We win a big game, four hours later, we're saying, what do you want to go eat? If you lose, almost the same thing. So we're playing for something bigger than ourselves here. And the relationships of everybody involved in the program, their teammates, their coaches, even you guys, that's something that we can treasure for a lifetime. And that's what I'm trying to teach these young ladies.